it's Joby and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is about Meg Thee Stallion, her new contract dispute that's going on with uh, Carl Crawford from 501 Records and Rock Nick. It is crazy, okay? So I'm sorry, I was literally just eating my dinner, but you know, have to get this content out. Anywho, so before we go in and we talk about this whole situation, please don't forget to like this video, okay? Like it now, like it later, just like the video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm Jovi Beauty on all platforms. So please follow, please subscribe. And now let's get on with the video. All right, guys, so this is a sweet tea. It's not soda, okay? Sweet tea, and I'm eating a salad, but listen. Let's go on to this whole Carl Crawford situation. Y'all know I love an article, so I'm about to pull an article up right now. I believe it's from Complex. Yeah, it's from, no, it's from Vibe. I'm about to pull an article up from Vibe, okay? And we're going to read about this, and we're going to talk about this, okay? So Carl Crawford responds to contract claims. Okay, if you don't know, wait, let me come back. If you don't know, Meg Thee Stallion is, is signed to 501. Apparently she signed a deal. She says she's getting gypped. She's getting 40, a 40, 60 deal or something like that. And out of her 40%, she has to pay for producers and whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm going to say there will be no Jay-Z slander because I'm from Brooklyn and I'll play them games. But I will also say that this seems, from what I comprehend, music deals seem to always benefit the product, the, um, the record labels, right? So I kind of think this is normal. Remember also that Carl was a baseball player, right? He was a baseball player. So like he just really got into the music industry. So I kind of think every, this is a learning experience kind of for everybody, but you know, let's, let's, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and um, get into this article. Shall we? All right. We, okay. So Carl Crawford responds to Megan Thee Stallion's contract claims. Okay. We were just the angels sent from heavens. Now we're the devil just because Jay-Z saved you. Child, listen, we should have known when we saw her with the Beyonce, it was going to be some shit. Okay. Listen, y'all know there will be no Jay-Z slander. But dang. Mm. Meg the Stallion has had her supporters proclaiming free the stallion. <laughs> After venting on Instagram Live about indie label 1501 Certified Entertainment refusing to allow her to release new music after she requested a negotiation to renego renegotiate her contract. But the label, label CEO, former Major League Baseball player and baby daddy of Evelyn Lozada, let's not forget he's her baby daddy, Carl Crawford insisted that he unjustifiably gets a bad rap. Now, I, I'm going to say I don't. Let's continue reading. But again, I don't think, I just think that everyone's new and Megan popped so hard, so fast that, you know, anyway, in an interview with Billboard, Crawford said that he gave Megan the Stallion um, a reasonable contract for a new artist, but that she and her managers, T. Ferris, was trying to avoid paying him monies owed. She got 8 million followers that know they can pounce on me because I'm smaller. She knows she's going to win when it comes to this right now. But I don't care about that, Crawford told Billboard. They can thrash, thrash me or whatever they do. But the real is you Hollywood and you and you got up on the Rock Nation and you're acting like you don't have to honor your contracts no more. Then you want to say you tried to negotiate. Man, you sent your lawyer in there and they want to take me out. Listen, I can see how with all the popping that she did over hot girl summer, so you know you got it lit. Anyway, I can see how he might feel. I think, you know, 
I think everyone has their own views of the situation. And as a new, all new artists feel like they're getting screwed. I think the music label, I mean, the music industry needs to get, uh, needs to get revamped. The whole entertainment industry, you know, streaming everything, you know, the, the creators, even us YouTubers, you know, we get, we get pennies on the pennies on the dollar for the views, you know? So everyone kind of, kind of you know it's always big corporations that win but i don't think honestly that he screwed her to the extent that she might feel screwed i just think it's normal practices and she just happened to blow up as big as she did but anyway let's go <clears throat> after megan instagram live session a Texas federal judge granted her a restra temporary restraining order against 501 Certified Entertainment and to do nothing to prevent the release, distribution, and sale of Pete's, of her new records she, and also prevented interference with her career via social media or through collaboration, collaborators and associates. Okay, Crawford confirms the claims of Megan Thee Stallion's lawsuits, which claim that 501, blah, 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 gets 60% of recorded income and she gets 40%, and that 501 receives 30% of her income from touring and merchandise. But he also added that Megan Thee Stallion had retained part of her masters in the deal so that her allegations of him being greedy are off base. I'm saying, who gets their own masters? Can I just say that? Who gets the Sierra man had to just buy her? I wasn't that the uh, anniversary present that he that he purchased all of her masters and as she owns it. Most 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 entertainers don't own their masters. This is this is this is funny. Anyway, um Let's talk about your contract. It's a great contract for a first timer, he said. What well, contracts give part of their masters and 40% royalties and all that kind of stuff? Ask Jay Z to pull one of his artists' first contract and let's compare it to what Megan got. I guarantee they won't ever show you that. Ooh, shady, shady, shady. Crawford also has said that Megan has to pay her monies owed from the contract since she signed with Rock Nation Management in August and that she and T. Ferris. Uh, Crawford business partner who was handling Megan's career. Oh, that's her bit. His bit. Oh, this is messy. So T. Ferris is Crawford's business partner. Ooh. Mm. Or attempted to force him out so that she can sign with Rock Nation. Their real plan was to get you out of my contract so that you can sign that so they can sign you to Rock Nation. That's all they want to do. She signed, she signed with Rock Nation in August. And decided she didn't want to pay me no more. He said they're using that as a strong arm tactic, uh, so that I can renegotiate the contract. They're holding the monies, and they haven't paid me since August. She done over fifteen shows. Y'all do the math. She gets a hundred thousand, a hundred thousand a show. Uh, she owes me. I haven't recouped almost two million dollars that we spent on her, building her up so that Rock Nation would want to come around. Where was Rock Nation at when we was grinding and riding around on them back streets? Rock Nation was nowhere to be found. I feel him on that one, child. Soon as we spent our monies, blew it up. Now, all of a sudden, these strangers and people you just met, they introduce you to Beyonce, and now we the devil? Oh, the shade. But it's kind of, ooh. We were just angels set from the sky. Now we're the devil. Just because Jay-Z saved you, you're so fake. Listen. He read her. <laughs> he read her. I didn't even. Y'all know I like Megan Thee Stallion. Y'all know I love me some Jay-Z. I'm from Brooklyn. Okay. Um, Y'all want in my opinion. I think that need to go to litigation. I think Crawford entered into business with the wrong partner. If T. Ferris is his partner and he's pulling all of this mess, you know, I guess they wanted to use Crawford for his money because, you know, he had that big, good baseball money. You know, Evelyn didn't get it. Um, so he had that good baseball money. And now that Jay-Z is all in the mix, now they want to cut him loose. I, I think that it's true that if he put this money behind you and backed you, you have to, you know, you have to stand with your contract. But I do comprehend her wanting to renegotiate. I think they should give that man a large sum of money. I think even if Jay-Z right, to, but she's going to have to pay for it anyway. Because it's going to come, anything that you get as an artist, it's coming out. It's coming out. 
So I think they need to renegotiate. I don't know who's right. I do know that, you know, since her mother passed, she is probably easily manipulated. And maybe this Ferris guy, I don't know who he is, you know, has taken advantage and, you know, put a whole bunch of crazy things in her mind. Um, she should have read her contract. She is a college student. You know, I, I believe I read earlier that her mother and all of them went over her contracts. And it was, again, it was all good until you blew up the way you blew up, you know? And that's the part I don't like because I feel like he put, he put, he put it behind you. He put it behind you. He put, he put, he put all of that behind you. And now since you got to come up, now you want to act like you don't know him no more. But that's my opinion. Y'all don't have to agree, but it is what it is. But nonetheless, hope y'all enjoyed the video, okay? And as always, I hope you live your life like it's golden, okay? Because there's no other way to live it. Love you.